The Fallen Guillotine is back in Destiny 2, and it's even better than it used to be. But you are probably wondering which perks to look out for for the god rolls for this weapon. So in this video, let's go over how to get your hands on this weapon, and what the god rolls are for both PvP and PvE. So to get this weapon, you will need to head over to the Hall of Champions and talk to the bot beside Shax to grab the Fallen Guillotine quest. Then you will just need to get rapid kills with swords. I found it really easy to do this in the new Onslaught activity. And then after you complete that, you can return back to the Hall of Champions to get your first Fallen Guillotine sword. But after that, there are a few ways to get more of this sword. First, you can attune to the statue on the right side of the room to increase your chances of getting the Fallen Guillotine from the Onslaught activity. And you can also get this weapon from the Trophy of Bravery chest beside Shax. So attune to this weapon, then run Onslaught and earn Trophies of Bravery to open this chest to get more Fallen Guillotine swords. Doing the Onslaught activity on Legend difficulty will give you more loot, which will increase the chances of getting this weapon. Now onto the god rolls. For the PvE god roll, you will want Jagged Edge for more impact, Swordmaster's Guard, Frenzy and Surrounded, with the Impact Masterwork and the Boss Spec mod. Now this sword really isn't that great in PvP, but for the PvP god roll you will want Enduring Blade, Balanced Guard, Chain Reaction and Eager Edge, with the Impact Masterwork and the Backup Mag mod. Now these two builds will make this weapon feel great but I would love to know what you think about this weapon in the comments below. And if you are looking for a new clan in Destiny 2, consider checking out the link in the pinned comment below to join my Destiny 2 clan. But I hope this video helps you and thank you for watching.